So this isn't like telling you to go out and buy these five specific items, although I will link anything I talk about in the description box, but it's more so to give you kind of an idea of what you should be looking for if you are shopping for autumn. Um, I, this is my first ASOS haul of 2019, which is really good because I don't want to be shopping all the time and I really wasn't for the majority of this year because when I was full-time freelance, I wanted to be sure that I was investing money back into my business and back into myself and I kind of got some good experimentation in my closet by using pieces that I already had to kind of force myself to get creative and create new outfits without necessarily shopping for new pieces. And so that's something I do want to continue to talk about on this channel. Um, if you guys saw my Newly review, that is a new clothing subscription service that I was testing out and I absolutely love that. It's a very sustainable option to get new pieces into your wardrobe without purchasing brand new pieces. And I'm all about the idea of you know, giving clothing a second life too. So I always have things linked in my Poshmark store down below. So you guys can also shop my closet at a crazy discount if you want. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Austin and I am a fashion and beauty content creator based in New York City and I also work at a tech startup. Uh, first time I can say that in a video, how exciting is that? So in today's video, I have an ASOS haul for you. It's not a big ASOS haul. There are five items that I picked up and what I really wanna do is kind of give you some autumn wardrobe inspiration with these five kind of essential items that I think everyone should have in their fall wardrobe. I just wanna make sure that I'm always kind of giving that value back and not just like throwing a bunch of stuff in your face that you feel like you have to buy. Cool, so let's talk about the five things that I got from ASOS. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the all-time important autumn wardrobe basic. If you don't have one of these, I, I actually can't imagine a world in which you don't have one of these. And that is the perfect chunky knit sweater. I actually put a poll, I put a, several polls on my Instagram stories a couple weeks ago. And if you guys aren't connected with me on there, feel free to slide into my DMs and say hi. It's just at Austin Tassoon. And I was running a poll where I kept posting screenshots of items from ASOS and you guys were voting on what you liked. And the one that was pretty unanimous, like almost had a full 100% was this amazing cream sweater from ASOS. This sweater is $42 and honestly, it's everything that I could have wanted in a fall sweater. This one has kind of a mock neck situation going on and then it has two different knits on both the bodice and then the sleeves, which I really like. I think it adds a little bit more interest and texture to it. And then it's got these awesome kind of balloon sleeves and they do cinch in at the end. So it's not like you're getting caught on things. So just to, um, give you a heads up this will be a little bulky if you layer it under maybe a fitted jacket like the one I'm wearing right now but if you layer it under your typical kind of wool coat you should be good to go I absolutely love this one I think this is a perfect fall basic I got it in a size US 4 and I think it fits perfectly I always like sweaters to be a tiny bit on the oversized side um, but this one with the sleeves it you can order your true size the next fall basic that I would recommend is a kind of multi-purpose blouse one that feels like you can wear it to the office and then easily transition to meet your friends after work for dinner or drinks or have a date night or whatever it is. And I found this one from a brand on ASOS that I love called Jacqueline Day Young. And her pieces are really, really beautifully crafted and they're not that expensive, which is obviously the ideal middle ground for any fast fashion pieces. So this is what the top looks like. It has these tiny Fortuny pleats that I feel like make it look really expensive. And then I didn't really notice this until I actually got it home, but it is kind of a bat wing sleeve design, which I normally don't love to be honest, but I don't mind it on this one. It also has a bit of a mock neck here and then the back it's closed by these two pearl closures with elastic that goes around them. And I'm, it was so hard to do that. I will probably need Andrew to help me or something if I need to put this on in the future. I tucked it in in the cutaway, but I'll also show it untucked so you can see the full length of it. I think this would be so cute with just black trousers and a blazer in the office, or if you work in more of a casual environment, I like the idea of it belted with a pair of light wash denim and maybe a suede or leather jacket thrown over it. And I think this is really versatile. And if you are looking for something like this, 
you should totally check this one out and I got this in a size small. Next up is a good pair of trousers and I feel like this changes every season but if you are looking for something classic a pair of checked trousers is always kind of a good bet. Um, also houndstooth or gingham or any one of those kind of fabrics but the one I went for is a check fabric but it's in this really fun pink color. So this is a pair of pants from Stradivarius carried on ASOS. This is my first time buying something from this brand. So for pants, I'm never really sure. So I just ordered the medium. It fits totally fine, but the elastic is a tiny bit tight when you first go to put it on. Once I have it up on my waist, it's fine and I'm super comfortable in them, but just something to note. And this one does have this kind of faux button closure up here. It does also have belt loops, but I think that it might be a little bulky if you layer it over this button closure. So up to you if you want to do that. The front looks like this and then the back is elasticated so there's no zip or snap or anything to get them on. They do have pockets of course and then the pants at the bottom, the hem is kind of cuffed up so it has a slight crop to it and I'm 5'7 for reference if you're looking at the cutaway to try to figure out where it would land on you. I think these are a great pair to style with your favorite black ankle boots and just throw on a t-shirt and a leather jacket and you're good to go. The next piece I picked up is another one from Jacqueline de Young and it was on sale when I bought it. I'm pretty sure for $11. So if it's still available, it'll be linked below. And if not, I'll try to find a similar alternative, but it's just an easy to throw on dress. And I love a long sleeve dress for autumn. And right now, polka dots are still very in as you saw from the top two. So I just couldn't resist buying this because it looked like an easy, amazing, basic throw on piece. And guess what? it is. The sleeves on this aren't fully elasticated, but they do come in a little bit if you're someone who doesn't like sleeves like that, just a heads up. And it has a elastic at the waist so that it kind of floats baby doll style down from there. I'm always also concerned about length of these dresses, but I got a small and I am totally fine. And I'm really happy that I purchased this. It's affordable, it's stylish, and it's gonna look good with pretty much everything. And last but not least, I just realized that I have another one from Jacqueline de Young. So definitely check out this brand on ASOS if you haven't heard of them yet. But I love a jumpsuit for fall. And yes, even if you have been wearing jumpsuits all summer and you're like, can I pull this off in fall winter? Just know that you can. What I would recommend is kind of picking a color palette that could transition for either season two so you can wear it year round. And that's what I loved about this one. I will admit when I first saw it on the website, I thought it was reading a tiny bit darker. Like it's definitely more vibrant in person, but I think this is something that you can pair back a little bit depending on what you style it with. So in the cutaway, you'll see that I layered it over a long sleeve gray basic, and you can also easily throw a jacket on over it. I'll also show a cutaway where I'm not wearing the long sleeve underneath just so you can really see the details of the sleeves. I love that there are little bows and this also has a zip closure on the side so that makes it super easy to get in and out of and it's a great piece for layering. You could wear a sweater over it, you could wear the long sleeve under it as I showed here or even when it gets deeper into winter you could wear tights underneath it and wear it with a pair of your favorite ankle boots. Okay you guys those are the five things that I picked up from ASOS recently. I can't believe that they're all winners. Usually whenever I order from ASOS, there's always one thing that I thought was going to work and then I have to send back, but I will be keeping all five of these items and incorporating them into my pre-existing autumn winter wardrobe. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item is or if there are any other fall essentials that you would add to this list. And be sure you're following along on Instagram to see how I style these pieces going forward too. Um, I definitely want to play around and try some different things with them other than what I showed you in the cutaways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you're not already. Usually new videos every Monday and Friday. I will let you know if this changes because of my new full-time job. And please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Um, even those small actions really help my channel out and I'm always appreciative anytime you guys leave a comment or share it with your friends or any of that kind of stuff. So thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!